This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. Win or go home for teams across the state of Kentucky. One of those teams looking to keep its season alive. The defending 14th region champion Randy Napier and Perry Central meeting up with Buckhorn in the 54th district tournament. Let's do it. Lady Doors off to a quick start. Tori Watts with the steal assist to Rachel Curry. That's how you break the press right there. Just nothing. No, uh, the ball doesn't even touch the ground. Off the inbounds now. Allie Sizemore hits the J. Lead still four for Perry. Buckhorn staying close. Kansas Rice rattles it in from deep. Lady Wildcats down just three. Natalie Gabbard now. She drives baseline. A little off balance J. She gets it to go. Trims the deficit to just one. But Lady Commodores will play for another district title. 73-35 the final over Buckhorn. The road to Rupp for not Central starting last night in the first round of the 53rd district with the Jenkins Cavaliers. Simon Christian getting his dance on. Jenkins just like, oh man, it's going to be a rough night, isn't it? Especially when you have somebody like Cameron Justice. He scored a lot of points, 3,469 all-time points. Yeah, that's kind of good. Jenkins also had a hard time holding on to the basketball. Chance cornered, steal, up to Austin Combs, layup good. Easy points for days, not central, just rolling all kinds of buckets. Devin Kendricks to Randy Potter. There's a good sign for Jenkins. But uh, here's a UPI top play contender. That's Evan Hall, the lob from Cameron Justice. That's pretty good. Number one, not central, rolls over Jenkins, 74 to 27. Back to the 54th district. Number three, Leslie County taking on Hazard in the first round. Big game for uh, Madison Combs. Knocks down the triple there. Lady Eagles up big in the second half. Here comes Hazard working the inside game. Alexis Griffey backs in and you know, she connects on the short jumper deficit, though it's 17 for Hazard. At the other end, Shelby Sparks down into Katie Moore. They tried that a bunch, finally got it to work. Leslie is tough to beat when it's hitting from the outside. This is Caitlin Farler right in the corner. Lady Eagles are going back to the regional tournaments. That's it. 56 District Round 1, Powell playing Lee County. Ken Jones rocking the red for his Lady Pirates. Let's go third quarter, pound down six. Brianna Elam, oh, she cuts that in half real fast. Still third quarter, Joanne Walker. Lee County back up six. So Walker and Elam just playing the anything you can do, I can do better game. 12 on the night for Elam, knocks down another three there. Both teams just letting it rain. Haley Tipton, start the she's a freshman cheer. <laughs> Leads up by eight, her only field goal of the game. Under three minutes to go now in the quarter, Hannah Cash. Ahead to Natalie Watterson, treats it like the layup line in the warmups later now. It's Amber Branham on the run for Powell County. And she isn't stopping until she gets to the hoop. She scores, but Lee County just, they came to ball. Watterson leads the way with 15. They beat him 59, 49, the final. Cordia Lady Lions and the June View Cannon Lady Crusaders. They got together last night in the first round of the 53rd District Tournament. Here we go, JBS led the entire game, but Cordia, they kept playing, especially Hannah Anthony. Three ball goes, she had 22 points, 12 rebounds on the night. That's what you call a pretty sweet double-double. Lady Crusaders, though, were just too much. Michaela Likens, the steal and the bucket. She also finished with 22 on the night. JBS defense all over Cordia. Possession after possession, Likens the steal again, and Brianna Harrington with the finish. All right, how about this? You pike top play contender here. First half winding down. Anthony, oh, the deep three ball at the buzzer, but JBS, like I said, all over Cordia, 70 to 47. All right, back out to the 56 in Owsley County. Estill County versus host Owsley County. Winner gets Lee County in the championship. Go first quarter, Autumn Cope. Ball three, racket. First bucket of the game right there. Cook goes for five points later. It's the Cheetah Kennedy Flynn. She's really fast on the softball field and really fast on the basketball court. She misses the jumper. No biggie, though. Sydney Danger there to clean up the garbage. Still first quarter. Macy Gibson down low. Strong up good, plus the foul. 16 for Gibson. Second quarter. Owsley up 17 to 4. Alyssa McIntosh. She goes for 18. She led Owsley. Flynn ends up scoring 31 for the late engineers, virtually all of them in the second half. That's still not enough, though. Owsley wins by 10. Estill's season is over.
All right, now to some college basketball. A huge Mid-South Conference matchup going on in Central Kentucky last night. Mid-South Conference opponents between third-ranked uh, Pikeville and eighth-ranked Georgetown. Late first half, Georgetown forces a turnover ahead to Darian Burns. That's an easy layup there. Right before the break, U Pike's Jackson Hussey pulling up, knocking it down. Georgetown leads 50 to 49 at halftime, and number three, U Pike falls on the road to number eight, Georgetown, 109 101. Meanwhile, in the women's game, number 23, U Pike completes the season sweep over the Lady Tigers, winning 69 to 59. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.